I'm excited to announce that we are doing another tablet giveaway. Woo! The wonderful people over at Gaomon were nice enough to send me one of their display tablets to review and give away to you guys. Let me tell you a bit about it before I show you how to win it. This is the PD156 Pro, a 15.6 inch 1080p tablet for drawing and animation with a full laminated and anti-glare screen. Slice! So, opening the box, we've got a faux leather protective case for the tablet itself, which was a very nice surprise. An instructions manual, cleaning cloth and smudge guard glove, a few cables, a power adapter and a holder for the pen, and of course, the actual pen you draw with. Another nice inclusion is this sturdy adjustable stand for the tablet it sits on, something which is definitely necessary for a tablet this size. But without further delay, here is what you've all been waiting for. Ta-da! The Gaomon PD156 Pro has a bunch of great features, the size being the most obvious. This thing is nice and big. It's got 9 express keys down the side which you can easily customise to carry out any actions you choose, as well as a circular dial in the middle which is also customisable. Despite the device's size, it's only 1.3 kilograms, so it's very easy to carry around. The pen doesn't feel as hefty as some other ones I've used in the past, but it works just as well. With tilt support, 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, the extra nibs included, it's definitely not a flaw by any means. Normally with pen displays like this, you have to plug it into a computer or laptop, and then also connect it to a power outlet in the wall. With this Gammon tablet however, you can power this device with just a laptop. Let's draw something. Ah yes, magnificent, a beautiful piece, a work of art. This tablet is on sale now, so check out the links in the description to purchase one yourself from their official Amazon store. If you want to take your chances with the giveaway, however, here's what you need to do. Number one, follow my Twitter at JellyJessYT. Number two, retweet the pinned tweet, which looks like this. That's it, you've entered. I'll choose a winner in a couple weeks and contact them via Twitter too, so make sure your DMs are open. Huge thanks to Gammon for the tablet to review, and again, all their links are in the description. Today's video is a little bit different to the normal ones I do. I'm joined here today with my friend Jack. Hi, uh, my name's Jack. Uh, or as you guys might know me uh, as Joe in some past videos. So Jack is known as Joe Mama in jo mama. some jo mama. Jo mama. <laughs> so jack has been in the piercing video and the love letter video which the love letter video happened quite some time ago and yeah so jack and i have actually like been friends for quite some time now yeah we've you've been friends for quite a few years known each other since uh primary school which is <laughs> since birth <laughs> since birth came out same hospital it was incredible <laughs> same time same day <laughs> same mum Jess is actually my sister <laughs> no but I think we've been friends probably since you came to my primary school which I think that was year five yep I think. very start of year five but year five was also the day it was also the year we both got our first relationships yes yes <laughs> 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 and that's today's video. Today we're going to be talking about our first relationships, which is kind of awkward, but it's worth sharing to the internet. It's it's a lot of everyone goes to it, you know, so I think people can relate to this one. Yeah. So my first boyfriend was actually in year six. So it was kind of roughly in the same time frame. So Jack or Joe was around. I'm just gonna call you Jack. I'm just not. I'm just gonna forget about Joe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just I want the me, whole yeah. video just to call be me Jack. Joe Mama. <laughs> Joe Mama. So my first boyfriend was actually in year six. So it was roughly the same time frame. But we are going to call this mysterious guy Colin. And there's a reason because of that. Because my brothers never actually found out the name of him, and he's kind of just been going as Colin this whole time. So. Colin, it's now your time to shine. Welcome to the cool, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, come on out. Come on out behind the curtain, mate. <laughs> uh, and my first relationship was with a girl in year five. And 
I mean, you guys already know this girl. It's it's Shannon. She's been in a few of Jess's videos already as well. Here's a montage of Shannon. Yeah, here's a montage. <laughs> <She> <laughs> <laughs> just put like, actual just... photos of Shannon in <laughs> So Shannon is still one of our really good friends. That's why she's still been in our videos and like she's in our group. Like we see her constantly. We saw so, her today, actually. We saw her yeah, we saw her today and I'm sure she doesn't mind that her real name is in the video, unlike yeah. Colin. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have Colin and not uh <laughs> not the other one, you know. So what I remember of you and Shannon, the very first time, because there's been multiple times of you guys dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three three or uh, four, we're not exactly sure, but yeah. That That's insane. <laughs> that's <laughs> so young. <laughs> the fact that we can't remember, the fact that it's three or four. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I remember, because you moved to our school, I remember her being like, oh my god, like, Jack's like really cool. And I'm like... <laughs> I and I'm, I was like always like, I'm not a man, but I was always the wingman, and I think I might have like went up to you and been like, hey, so like my friend really likes you. That was scary, and I probably ran away like I do in most <laughs> situations involving females, but <laughs> <laughs> still to this day, <laughs> to this day, I just run. The first time we dated, it was probably just asking out was, through friends. Honestly. And then- yeah, honestly, it was probably, like, the first day you came to school and you guys, like, started dating. Yeah. It, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I cannot remember. It, let's just, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> probably only lasted about one or two weeks, <laughs> as most of them go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful relationship. We did so much together during our time of one week of not talking to each other or seeing each other at all. <laughs> And then we broke say, up what? because I didn't talk to her or see each other for the entire week, so. I was going to say, what did you guys do in your spare time? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just didn't, didn't talk to her, it huh? Was, yeah. <laughs> I didn't talk to her in my spare time. That, that was the reason we ended up breaking up, yeah, because of um, that. The second time was a little more successful. There was, there was at least one or two sentences said during our oh, second that's, time dating. That's so romantic yeah we look don't tell anyone this Jess but I think we might have even hugged at one time (gasps) (laughs) oh my god (laughs) I'm speechless one thing I really remember is like one day I was just sitting with Shannon at lunch and a group of the boys were sitting like over on the other side and they were doing like Oreo dares and (laughs) I remember one of them one of the boys asked you um to ask Shannon out if you get like what get the feeling on your side that's how the oreo dares work i'm not really sure if they're like popular in other countries <laughs> yeah they weren't even that popular in our country <laughs> yeah to be honest with you. <laughs> maybe we're just like loser kids who just had <laughs> nothing else to do <laughs> we couldn't we didn't have like, many toys so we played with oreos <laughs> so basically basically if you don't know about this oreo dare thing you twist the oreo and if the feeling is on your side then you have to do whatever you were dared to do. So Jack, Jack twisted the Oreo and there was filling on his side. So he had to ask out Shannon again. Uh, it probably wasn't the longest relationship yet again. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it was also based on a dare. <laughs> so when she found out, she wasn't too pleased about that. As, as she you kind of just... Be. But, like, she she wasn't too pleased, but I think she was pleased because she did say yes. Like, <laughs> she could have said no. She's probably thinking, like, oh, he's, he's coming back for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she also lost an Oreo dare and had to say yes. <laughs> I don't, I honestly can't remember how that one ended. Yeah, but... crying. Lots of, oh, tears, the sadness. The um, heartbreak. Heartbreak. But your relationship... It, it wasn't as topsy turvy as mine one was. Yours was a, a little stronger. Mine was a little bit stronger, but literally like no social interaction whatsoever. <laughs> like it was. <laughs> the still, labels were there. Yeah, the labels were there, and they were pretty strong, but nothing else was, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Think of just two little kids, and we're very separated. And we're just, we're just sitting there, like, we're not even, like, talking to each other or anything. 
And then, like, another kid comes along and just being like, oh, you guys are, like, so cute. No, we're not. Like, we're not even, like, interacting with each other. We're not even, like, interacting. Know. Interacting is one thing. You guys, like, barely even looked at each other. Like, <laughs> the labels are like, definitely we were, like, there, but you guys did not exist to each other in real life. We were just, like, disgusted. Like, that's probably what it looked like. But, yeah, I find it so weird. Like, I remember it wasn't just us, but, like, any sort of, like, young relationship. Like, you're so, like, good friends with them before you get that, like, dating title. And as soon as that happens, it just goes to crap. Like, it's, it's just not the same. It's like, what happened? Like, I remember being good friends with, like, Colin before that. And then as soon as it came, like, it just, like, died <laughs> some reason like we we actually lasted a long time <laughs> unlike you and shannon <laughs> hey hey like you lasted a long time but who has the most most relationships out of all of us here i'm who winning keeps, i'm on top right now who keeps crawling back <laughs> who keeps crawling back it's this guy <laughs> it was like we we started dating in primary school and we moved on to high school and we were still in like the same schools so I think we were, like, dating for, like, a year and a half, but, like, there wasn't much to it, you know? Like, I know you weren't there for the start of the high school because you were at a, a different school. Yes. But with, with, uh, with Shannon. Oh, with, yeah, literally with Shannon. It was fate, like. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to happen, you know? But, unfortunately, it didn't because you guys broke up again. Yeah, that's why, that's actually why I moved schools. I couldn't stand the heartbreak this time around. <laughs> Had to get out of there. Did you guys even, like, date in high school? Uh, we were trying to figure that one out and uh, neither of us could actually even remember if we dated in year seven. I'd, I'd like to think so, that you guys... That's, on the, that's, up, that's up in the air right now. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to that one. I actually remember one of the times that you and Shannon broke up. Um, you know, because, like, it's weird. Because I remember teachers, like, being encouraging about relationships in primary school. But, like, others were, like, completely against it. And I remember this one time, this one teacher on the other side of the school saw like you guys hug (laughs) and she um she like pulled shannon aside like the next day and she was like you know boyfriends aren't allowed in primary school no way yeah i don't know i didn't i I never heard about this this is the first time this is this is news to me (laughs) this is bringing a tear to my eye yeah this is so sad (laughs) maybe that teaches why we broke up (laughs) well it is because she broke up with you the next day Ah, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. That solves that one. And because she, t- she told me about it and then, like, I don't know. I remember just, like, being at that age and, like, feelings were just, like, instantly gone. And I asked yeah. her, I'm like, do you still like him? And she's like, no. <laughs> and then yeah. that was it. Feels to be bad. honest, it, not much changed once we broke up. I still didn't talk to her. Uh, I still didn't go see her. <laughs> It seems like you guys were still in a relationship, it but... It was almost like we did not break up at all <laughs> until was we started dating time... again for the third time, but... <laughs> I remember you saying something about your dad. Was that the one... Well, it could have been that breakup because you actually didn't see that one coming. Um, I didn't see any of them coming, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like none of them really phased you, to be honest. No. Well, none of them really did. I just remember telling my dad... Uh, about one of the, I think it was the, oh no, it was definitely the first one. Cause I think oh. after the first one, I just got used to us breaking up and getting back together. Okay. Um, so the first, the first one hits you in the yeah, feels. Yeah, the first one. Oh, my feels. <laughs> I was so downtrodden and sad. And I told my dad and he patted me on the shoulder and told me there were plenty of fish in the sea. And that was it. And that, yeah, that, that is it. He did not give it. He didn't, he didn't give a care in the world. All right, the Minecraft date, the date of all the dates. Official... This is the most romantic date you can go on with another human being. This is the biggest flex I ever have on anyone. <laughs> the biggest flex you'll ever, ever have. You're never going to updo this. I'm sorry. So one day I got a message from Colin on Kick. Don't use Kick. <laughs> Hope no one uses Kick anymore. <laughs> no, no one uses Kick these days. But I got a message from him, and he was like, 
hey, so uh, you want to like come over and play some Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, yes, of course I do. And so I did. And my mum came along too. And she ended up having like the biggest, like deep and meaningful while I'm there with Colin on the lounge, like playing Minecraft, having a blast. It what did you guys build? Just... What did you guys build on that Minecraft date? Oh, I think we built like the crappiest looking like a wooden house. <laughs> 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 Dirt house with like yeah. a torch. Yeah, and then on like we went, it. we also went mining together and. I was getting hit by a skeleton and I I honestly probably didn't know what I was doing at this point, but he jumped in front of me and saved me and it was the most romantic thing. That, that is so sweet. It's the sweetest love story oh that anyone goodness. can have. God, I wish Shannon would pick up her game and take me on a Minecraft date. But, you know, he eventually died and then I died in the game too, so there's that romantic <laughs> ending. <laughs> What, what's something that you did to Shannon, which was romantic at that age? Give her any gifts? Did you uh, like give her a little smooch? <laughs> there were some organized hugs and kisses. O- organized by you. Yeah, literally organized by me. Every single one. <laughs> After school, we'd uh, there'd be a time and place we'd meet. And it was either a hug or a kiss on the cheek. And as soon as the hug or kiss happened, I would take off running in the opposite yeah. direction. <laughs> Run, like Fastest never kid in the world. <laughs> they did not have time to think. I was out of there. But like, do you remember like the crowds that would happen? Like yeah. everyone just wanted to see it for it was, some weird reason. <laughs> at that age, it was pretty insane, you know, hugging someone. And, like, someone was always, like, on teacher alert too. Like, <laughs> just in case the teachers came. <laughs> Yeah, but I remember one time you went to a house for for Easter, oh. you know. The most romantic holiday, my ad. Yeah, you eggs. Know, bunnies. Love eggs. <laughs> <laughs> bunnies. <laughs> what more could you ask for? Like, I, stuff I Valentine's know. Day. <laughs> <laughs> probably the scariest do? thing I've ever... Actually, still probably the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Really? Were you, like, shaking the whole time? I went, yeah, yeah. I, I shook for about a week afterwards. <laughs> You was just like, ew, I saw Shannon outside of school. Ew. What do you mean you own other clothes that aren't a school uniform? That just doesn't make sense. You are not the girl I date. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't recognize her out of the school uniform. Like, is Shannon home? <laughs> I am Shannon. <laughs> Literally just like any sort of like thing with you, she would tell me like, oh, he gave me this and he like... He, like, looked at me today. <laughs> I was like, uh, damn. And I'm just like, oh, my God, wow. He looked, How long did he look at you for? That's crazy. And she'd be like, you know, like, three milliseconds. Like I glanced at her accidentally, panicked and run off in the opposite direction. <laughs> no, yeah, so the Easter egg, it was very frightening. Uh, I think that was actually the first time I ever got a girl, like, a present or anything like that. So... Yeah, that was a big moment for me. Yeah, it is a big moment. Never done it what? since, you know, but it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, knocking on that door, very frightening. Giving over the Easter egg, also very frightening. Uh, running did you, away. Did she even say anything? Like, or did she just, like, it, kick you out? No, I think it was <laughs> too cool. I think I, like, gave it to her and was like, all right, sick. <laughs> See you, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> it would have been very quick. I remember, like, as soon as you opened it, it was like, hey, we got this for you. And that was it. Did, did you ever get any gifts? Oh, uh, I did, but like, I can't remember anything that was like great. I think I gave him like an iPod 4 case. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, but I remember he got me this necklace and because this was for Christmas, um, the first time we were like dating. So we were still like in primary school and he gave me this necklace of a little tiny, like solid heart. And of course there was a crowd everyone was around at this time and as soon as i opened it everyone's like (laughs) (laughs) and i'm just like oh my god thanks and (laughs) thanks Thanks. i love it (laughs) wow brilliant yeah and then just imagine like awkward hug and you know the day continues don't talk to him ever again but i remember it eventually like going like Rusty. Oh, what so the hell? I don't, what was that I thing know, made out of? You no, know, the thought was there. The thought 
the thought counts. It's what, yeah, that's really just what counts. Yeah, so I think I like probably at that age. I think I did like scrub it with toothpaste. Like, do you know how to? What the hell? Why did you? It's like a natural thing, like to like clean your jewelry so it comes out shiny again. Really? Yeah, like you soak it in like this toothpaste and water. I'm sure there's probably something else. You're actually not going to believe that. You're not going to believe this, Jess, but. I surprisingly enough, no, I was going to say, surprisingly <laughs> enough, when I was in year six and seven, I wasn't scrubbing my jewelry all too much with toothpaste. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock, but. That's insane, I thought you would. Year six formal, um, I obviously got asked to go to this occasion with my fellow now boyfriend, and it was. Very awkward. The The whole relationship was already awkward, but, like, at this formal, it was really awkward. Like, he would just come up and be like... <laughs> and How did he ask you to he just the like, formal? Oh, well, I don't even know if he did. He's just like, oh, well, we're dating, so, like, we're, yeah. I guess we're going to be, like, an item there. Obviously. Did yeah, you guys like, sit at the same table? No, we didn't. Like, we didn't even get to pick where we were, which probably, yeah, probably worked out well anyway because we didn't really talk. But yeah, true. <laughs> probably wouldn't probably have been the, as enjoyable. <laughs> the only words he, he gives to me at the formal is, want to dance. Can you just imagine two, like, very young, <laughs> young, stupid kids on the dance floor? Just, like, not even, like... It was crazy. You guys should have yeah. been there. They were doing the worm. <laughs> Colin started breakdancing while Jess started beatboxing. It was insane you should have been there it was the best thing nothing has lived it down like since man it was just so like oh like if i like i can just imagine like it replaying my head and i just like want to crawl up in a ball awkward like hands on shoulders dancing Uh, just kind of walking back and forth really yeah like not even dancing like because I remember there were, like, no slow songs played. They were, like, all, like, heavy, like, fart, like, party rocket. Party <laughs> rocket. Like, <laughs> can you imagine, like, slow dancing to party rock anthem? Yeah, so, you know, everyone's there shuffling on the dance floor. We're just <laughs> slow dancing. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot shuffling was a thing back then. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people were getting in trouble a lot. <laughs> At that formal, because yeah, there were, te- you know, there, there were teachers. Yeah, we could only party rock so hard. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever bring Shannon to the formal? I was trying to figure that out. I don't think we did. Um, did you ever have another another girlfriend at the formal? Um, I, you're quite, you were no. quite the ladies' man. Uh, look, what can I say? That's just me. You've seen <laughs> my bald head. <laughs> we, I don't think, I don't believe we did. I don't. I think I went to the formal a single. Uh, a single man, a bachelor, as 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 many call call it. A bachelor to Colin. A bachelor to Colin, and all I all I did was party rock. I, you know, <laughs> shuffled a little bit. You know, didn't need to worry about any girl. Like <laughs> you were probably like, like stuff like Colin and I. You just like took the whole dance floor to yourself. Nothing on my mind but the music and two glasses of coke that I was getting that night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wild. Max two. If you have more than that, no. You have to leave, sorry. (laughs) You have too much to drink, you have to leave. (laughs) A big part of those relationships, because there wasn't much, you know, talking per se, a big part of the communication was, yeah, love letters. Like one of my videos, a love letter. This one, I remember Shannon like one day in class, she was like, I'm going to write a love letter to, to Jack. But she she gave it to his little uh, brother at the time. <laughs> yeah, he's still my little that, brother. He's still my little brother. Just he he wasn't my little brother just, at the time. He's st- he still is. He's, <laughs> no, but I remember like we hunted him down like the whole school. And there's there was probably like what like five hundred kids in this school. Yeah. Probably about that. And so we hunted this little kid down and Shannon gave him this little tiny, tiny note that says, I love you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and she was, like, she was like to your brother, like, give this to Jack. <laughs> that was it. And did you ever get that love letter? Yeah, no, I cannot remember ever receiving a love letter from so I, I, I do think that he just kept it to himself and looks back on it every now and then, you know. Your love letter from Colin. 
Colin. Colin. Yes. Um, Actually made Colin, it to you. Yeah, Colin used to, because we didn't talk much, uh, one of his other good friends would always be like, oh, yeah, like, you guys should, like, send love le- like love letters to each other. So, yes, with love letters, um, one of Colin's, like, other good friends was, like, really into our relationship for some reason. And he was like, yeah, you guys should, like, send love letters to each other and I, I will be the one delivering them. I'm like... Okay. Chill <laughs> out. Hold your horses, and yeah, mate. And like, he's got like a st- sticky notes and he's got his pen ready. Like, you know, he's like forcing me to do this. I'm like, okay. He would like sometimes just give me like a random sticky note that was just like, I love you. <laughs> and then that was like it. And like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like chuck him out either. I just like kept him in my bag. And so like, they, they kind of grew like in size like i i received a few but in the end that was all that was in your bag is just love letters <laughs> and a few yeah, letters like, that is just like hey minecraft <laughs> date question mark yeah i remember he gave me a lot of these letters and then there was one fateful day where the letters stopped okay and i would go to his group that had Jack in it. I would go there, there like probably like quite a bit, um, probably like half lunch, so I could spend time with my friends and then spend some time with you know Colin. Yeah, and by spend time, they uh they stood next to each other. I uh, didn't really <laughs> talk. Didn't talk. Yeah, didn't talk at all. Uh, and then that would be it. It was very romantic. So yeah, I would do that for quite some time. I'd go down there to talk to him, and then he would eventually be like, "Oh, I'm gonna play basketball." Or I'm gonna play handball with the boys. I'm gonna or, read a book. I can't even read, but I just don't. <laughs> I'm gonna look at these read. words and act like I know what they're saying. Just in his head, he was like, "I don't want to hang out with you anymore," but he didn't want to say it to me. So I don't know why I didn't get the idea that he just didn't want to be around me anymore. This love story was cracking. <laughs> it was falling apart. <laughs> it was a lunch, and I was walking. I was walking to Colin's group. I saw all the boys <laughs> run away to the basketball court as soon as they saw me. And then I see... Except one, one boy. <laughs> I, except this one fateful <laughs> who was walking towards me, that being Jack. <laughs> yeah, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> he, he walks up to me and says... Hey, uh, sorry. I think uh, Colin wants to break up with you. What? Hey, uh, I'm so, uh, sorry, um, Colin. I think Colin's breaking up with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, anyways, see, uh, see ya. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you, why are you running? <laughs> did you Did you think I was just gonna break down in tears? Like, well, I didn't have time to think. I was too busy running. <laughs> <laughs> too- too busy thinking of like joining the boys playing basketball. Yo, I'm missing out on so much basketball right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't there, but I don't know. They're probably just like, you know what, Jack? You're the man. You're the man for this. <laughs> you want to do us a favor, Jack? Can you go break up with my girlfriend? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I remember that day I had all the little letters in my bag and I just like tipped them down the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I just ripped him up and then tipped him in the bin and that was it. That was a day. The funeral. And I, I, I can't really remember like being like heartbroken. Like it was kind of just like, oh, we aren't together anymore. It's not like we really like did anything. The together. shackles fell off you. Yeah, you it's felt like free. It was, <laughs> yeah, because like we we didn't really hang out or we didn't really talk. So I don't know it was <laughs> it was nothing real different to be honest. <laughs> Oh, just after the breakup, I remember it being like really awkward. I was like walking down like a corridor one time and he was coming the opposite way. And you know how like you try and like, like get around the person, but then you're stuck like doing like a little dance. That happened. That happened so many times. And we're just like, oh, sorry. (laughs) Just got to go. Oh my God. Jess, answer me this. Do you, do you miss Colin? Um... No, I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to, to put it bluntly, um, uh, no. No. <laughs>